Hey, what's up folks? Ricky McLean here back for another Two Minute Tuesday. Today's topic is mass timber buildings on top of a podium. We're going to look at the what, why, and how. What do we mean when we say a podium? Why would we consider doing a mass timber building on top of a podium? When does it make sense? When is it not economical? And then lastly, how? How do we make it work from a details perspective? All right, let's jump in it right into the what. When we talk about a, a podium, it's a term synonymous with pedestal other people call it different things but essentially what we're looking at doing is building multiple stories of mass timber on top of multiple one or multiple stories of non-combustible construction now from a code perspective specifically what we're usually talking about is the special provision in section 510.2 of the international building code which there it's actually called a horizontal building separation it's not called a podium there but generally speaking we're talking about podiums this is the code section we're referencing now you see this commonly in light frame wood construction where you see say four stories of light frame wood construction over a one story podium or five stories of wood frame construction over two stories of podium. These are commonly called four over one, five over two, those types of things. And you can do the exact same thing with mass timber, which leads us into the second point, which is why. Why would we consider doing a mass timber building on top of a podium? Well, there are multiple reasons, but really they all funnel down into maximizing the construction type, maximizing the efficiency associated with that construction type, and ultimately maximizing the site density that can meet the needs of our project. Now, to look at this through a few different angles, one reason we might be doing this is to get the highest or the tallest allowed building for our specific construction site um, as the code allows. Let's say we want to do a seven story building total. We want six stories of office occupancy on top of a one story parking garage, let's say. Now the code allows us to do six stories of mass timber construction in using types four or three A. So we could do those six stories, but again, that doesn't get us to seven stories. So that's where the podium provision comes in, where the code says you can count the number of stories of mass timber or light frame construction from the top of the podium as opposed to from grade. So we can do our single story parking garage, for example, and then do our six stories of mass timber office building on top of that. Now the caveat here is that we still need to measure the overall building height and feet from grade, not from the top of the podium. So in either of those examples I gave, type 4 construction or type 3A, the overall building height is allowed to be up to 85 feet. So we can do six stories of mass timber from the podium and overall building height is 85 feet from grade to the mean roof height. Now another reason we might be doing a podium with a mass timber building is mixed occupancy or different structural systems where let's say in the mass timber building our column grid is going to be something that allows for office occupancy or multifamily occupancy. And then maybe in the lower levels, you wanna do something that has a more open floor plate for something like retail or some type of a large commercial events venue, for example. Now, it might be more feasible to do something like a podium in that example because it's acting as a structural transfer slab where we can take those loads from above, redistribute them to columns that are spaced further out uh, and do that in a podium in the level below. Again, our podiums are non-combustible construction type 1A. All right, that leads us to today's third topic, which is how. How do we actually make these work from a details perspective? In terms of the mass timber and how it interacts with the podium, it's very similar to how a mass timber building would interact with a foundation at grade. Where the most critical points here, usually at that interface, is the details. Details that allow adjustability and tolerance in the field, because generally speaking, the tolerances that the mass timber is manufactured to are going to be much tighter than the, the general tolerances that the podium would have been constructed to. So recognizing that and providing details at the base of mass timber to top of podium condition that allow adjustability will really set us up for success down the line. So looking at details for in terms of column standoff bases or base of walls that allow shimming adjustability in the field, those are really important to helping ensure that the mass timber, once it starts going up, is going to follow its tolerances that's fabricated too. All right, well, that's it for today's Two Minute Tuesday, folks. As always, we'll see you back here next week.